Voyager 2 discovers mysterious objects on Jupiter. NASA launched its highly successful Voyager 2 space probe to study the outer planets and interstellar space beyond the sun's heliosphere back in 1977. And the spacecraft continues to embark on its epic journey through the cosmos and has been pivotal in expanding the horizons of our understanding of outer space. Nearly 45 years on, and the legendary spacecraft is still making many exciting and unusual discoveries, while setting a new record for every day that it spends in space. Welcome to Tech Rumor, and in today's video we will take a closer look at some of the most bizarre and mysterious things Voyager 2 has discovered about Jupiter, and what we know about it since NASA reconnected with the spacecraft in 2021. Exploring Jupiter both the Voyager spacecrafts 1 and 2 were sent with the mission to really tap into the unknown and answer key questions that scientists and researchers had for years about the worlds that lie beyond. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were launched with the second actually being launched 16 days prior, so that it could hit a more favorable trajectory in order to continue its exploration even to Uranus and Neptune, by taking advantage of a rare alignment between the outer planets, which happens only every 175 years or so beginning with planets Jupiter and Saturn. On April 24, 1979, the spacecraft started relaying back breathtaking images of Jupiter and began taking some initial measurements as it successfully entered into its encounter phase with the planet. It also began its flybys of the Jovian moons, Callisto, Ganymede, Europa, and Amalthea. To give a sense of just how close it was able to get to the Jovian moons, we can compare that to the distance from Earth to our own moon, which is 384,400 kilometers. In contrast, it flew by Europa at a distance of 215,000 kilometers and 205,000 kilometers from Callisto, which is a little over half that distance. Even closer than that was its flyby of Ganymede at a mere distance of 62,100 kilometers. On Earth, that would be ridiculously far, but considering the vast expanse of space, that's actually quite impressive. On July 9, 1979, the spacecraft made its closest approach to the mighty planet, flying within a range of 350,000 miles of Jupiter's cloud tops. Mysteries of the Jovian World During its extensive flybys, Voyager 2 made several stunning discoveries and sent back a whopping 17,000 images in total of the giant planet and its many satellites. We've always known Jupiter and its entire system to be a place of unbelievable beauty and mystery, and Voyager 2 proved just that with its plethora of stunning images and a flood of scientific data. Voyager 2 was able to solve some important mysteries that had scientists scratching their heads for years. Pictures from the spacecraft confirmed the existence of thin rings around Jupiter, which were rather unclear from data provided by Voyager 1. Images also confirmed the status of the active volcanic activity on the moon Io, as suspected by Voyager 1. Not only that, it also discovered a whole new moon in Jupiter's system, orbiting just outside those faint rings, which was given the name Adrastia. One of the most intriguing images ever captured on Jupiter was that of the mysterious hexagon shapes that scientists were just not able to explain. Turns out what they were worried about was actually huge angry tornadoes. It was confirmed through this mission that it was in fact, as certain theories suggested, massive storms forming in specific regions. The Great Red Spot, which had been a subject of debate, was then confirmed to be a very complex storm system on Jupiter, along with several other storms that it detected in different regions. Voyager 2 is credited with many other discoveries, like the turbulent lightning and immense auroras within the planet's violent atmosphere. It also gave an in-depth look at the surface of Io and other moons, including a 10-hour long volcano watch to gather more information about the satellite's volatile atmospheric conditions. Another astonishing discovery was made from observations about Europa, with data suggesting that it could actually be a giant ocean world, which has now sparked a growing interest in the study of the Jovian moon. Scientists claim that between the data and images provided by the twin spacecraft, they have mapped out almost 80% of the surface of Callisto and Ganymede. Now that's impressive. Without all the insights into the Jovian system, Jupiter and its many moons would still be a mystery to us. Silence from Voyager 2 Undoubtedly among the most successful missions ever launched into space, Voyager 1 and 2 remain operational to date and continue to explore interstellar space, with Voyager 2 being at a distance of 18.5 billion kilometers beyond the heliopause, or the boundary region where the sun's influence ends. 
The only way of communication is through the Deep Space Station DSS-43 antenna in Canberra, Australia. In March 2020, due to maintenance and repairs, the DSS-43 had to go offline, and we were forced to cut off all communication with the spacecraft as it journeyed on its own through space. This period of silence lasted for about eight months until the communications were later re-established on October 29, 2020. Since then, scientists have been itching to know what data had been captured in the months that the spacecraft spent alone in space. Some of the latest data from Voyager 2 shows that the electron density of the interstellar medium is increasing as the probe travels further and further away from the Sun. And its sister ship, Voyager 1, has been showing similar data, reporting an increase in the radial density gradient ever since crossing into interstellar space. What's next for Voyager 2? The Voyager mission is the longest-running mission and has been successful on many counts. The main purpose of launching the Voyager 2 was to get up close with Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus, and their respective satellites. But now that the spacecraft has done more than its share, with scientists even making new discoveries by merely studying old data from the probe, it raises the question, what's next for Voyager 2? And how long exactly will it last? Will Voyager 2 ever leave the solar system? As it has now stepped beyond the heliopause, we can expect it to tell scientists about the local bubble surrounding the heliosphere, along with possibly catching sight of galactic cosmic rays. What's exciting about this new chapter for the spacecraft is that it will be able to give us insights and help us shape how we understand exoplanets. The only drawback, though, is Voyager 2 may very well leave the solar system within the next 300 years, but its instruments might give out way before that. As it reaches the edge of the Oort cloud, it would have to pass through a seeger of comets that surround our solar system, which could in itself take around 30,000 years, give or take. At this moment, the two voyagers are dashing through interstellar space in different directions and further away from each other. In 2027, Voyager is set to mark 50 years, and that's what scientists and researchers are aiming for at the moment. It is undoubtedly the most remarkable space mission that has opened up our entire understanding of our neighboring planets, and soon, hopefully, the world beyond. That's all for today. What do you think is next for Voyager 2? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more awesome videos from us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.